And this is a, a virus that hides within our own DNA, Which you is, and ours. I didn't even know that was possible. Yeah, this is crazy, dude. 8% of our DNA is viral endogenous DNA. 8% of our genome, approximately 98,000 annotated insertions are viruses that are like infiltrating, that have infiltrated. Dude, it's it's it, they're like they're like sleeper cells, dude. I was this is when people say the aliens uh, manufacture uh, created. No, us. Yeah, already, this look, this is exactly yeah, what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, no, like the, the little viruses are there writing our stuff. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy <laughs> to think about. So so first of all, I was like I was like, how does this even get in? Why is this in my DNA, bro? Right. Like what what's going on? Okay, so it's it's crazy. These things are called retroviruses. Mm -hmm. A retrovirus is a is a virus that has instead of using DNA as its genetic material, it uses RNA mm -hmm. as its genetic material. And what it does is when it infects a cell, it uses something called um, reverse transcriptase. Usually, transcriptase mm -hmm. goes from DNA to RNA. This yes. is the reverse process. So it's taking RNA and it's making double-stranded DNA. Mm -hmm. So that's reverse transcriptase. And then what ends up happening is that reverse transcriptase goes inside the nucleus of our cells. Yes. And then there's something called integrase, which is another viral protein that takes that DNA, that bit of viral DNA, and sticks it inside our chromosomal mm. DNA. Now, if this happens to our skin cells, okay, we got like some viral DNA. But if it happens to our sperm and egg, now the next organism that gets that sperm and egg, the entire all oh, of the DNA has it. is, is going to have it, right? It, these are called germline I was, mutations. I was, I was literally saying, right? it's kind of going back to our CRISPR story, yes. it's the germline. It's the thing. germline mutations, right? Yes. So this is a germline insertion that happens. That's and then now the virus becomes something called a provirus, okay. which is something that's just hanging out in our DNA. Yes. 8% of our DNA comes from this. Dude, that's one in 12. That's like a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. Now, most of these viruses, they get mutations over the years and they become inactive. Okay. But there's a specific um, virus called the human endogenous virus K, mm -hmm. the HERV K virus. HERV K. It's a provirus now because it's within our DNA. But this thing is the most recent infiltrator. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's because it's the, because it's the most recent infiltrator, it has the fewest number of mutations, mm -hmm. right? Which means it's still a problem. Mm -hmm. Every once in a while, you get something like a cancer cell mm -hmm. or you get um, autoimmune disorders. Mm -hmm. The cell is losing control and this virus can start acting up. Okay. So it's actually been detected, this H. Herv K envelope, yeah. that has been known to be expressed in cancers like breast cancer, ovarian cancer, prostate cancer, melanoma, and also in autoimmune disorders like lupus, um, diabetes type 1, um, SLE. 